Hello friends, welcome back to School Management System in Laravel. Last video I will show you about the assign class teacher module. Like the last video we did like a filtering class name, teacher name, status and date wise. So in this video I will show you like a teacher side show the subject class also show and also he can see his subject for this teacher whatever subject he said there. So he I we need to log in his account and uh, after he can see his a class and he can see his a subjects so let's we can use a, like a one teachers i think this teachers is a multiple i think this teacher here ss1 and part time so let's go to teacher list and we can log in for this teacher so i can edit this teachers and i can add a password one two three four five six because i don't know what's the password i click on the update Oh, sorry, I just mistake. Okay, update done. Okay, I already copy this teacher email address. I just log out and I log in as a this teacher. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I can you can see I have not log out for this one because we need to show you. Suppose we have made as a module about the add, edit, and delete whatever teacher assigned for this class and this class wise we can find out the subject because we have already did here assigned subjects so in this teacher sites i will open the teacher teacher side we can create here a new menu my subject okay my class and subject so go to is a code go to resources inside you need to go to layouts with layouts inside you need to go header let's make some zoom out and just go down this is the one two and we need to create here like a my class and picture student my class and subject okay so here we can create like my class subject and here we can change because we need to make an active class this is a new change here segment to my class subjects let's go back again refresh the page so you can see like my class and subject let's change the icon because what we don't want to use this icon after we can change all the icon inside of one video but right now right now we can using only one icon for every place okay let's go back again and you can see it here man my class and subject i click on so you can see it like a my class and subject inside teacher set so let's create for this route just go to routes inside you need to go web inside need to go middleware about teachers so here is a middleware so just create for this route here we can change my class subjects okay and here we can change to assign class teacher controller because this is the controller we are using let's so go to this controller inside http inside assign class teacher controller go to last and just you can type teacher side work and make it comment so here i will create another controller and another function let's make a tie here so we can check like our route working or not working okay i just go back again i refresh the page so our route working very well no issue so just we need to call our route so let's go to another controller and copy the file let's go to user controller user controller inside my account we can copy just put here and just copy this name my class subject and put here and also you can put like a header so just copy and put here headers okay because header we have made a dynamic this way so here you can type my class and subject so we need to create a new file my class subject blade.php inside teachers so here the teachers i create a new file okay now it's file created let's go back again refresh the page so you're working very well no issue now and file also created 
so let's copy other things like i can copy let's go to back again admin admin instead go to assign class teacher instead copy list dot label php and here you can paste okay you don't need to edit and delete you don't need to pay attention because we can assign 100 classes after not possible maximum this is we can remove the page initial. we don't want to need a page initial. also we don't need a filter here so just remove the filter okay and here also we don't need to give any permission like add so just remove it just you can type like here my subject my class and subject and here we can remove like for each group okay i think now is good and here also you can change my class and subject let's refresh the page and check how it looks show okay so looks like simple my class and subject title and also here we have made like table title here we can change class name to here we can change like a teacher's name to subject name we don't need a status we don't need a created by just created it is good so let's show like this just class name teacher's name it means class name subject name and created by after we need an action so action wise we can find out the student okay this is the class who is a student otherwise we can create a new menu my student so we can show all the student for this and after we can show the class name also we can show the student what is the total subject there so let's make a listing about the whatever class assigned to this teacher also we need to show class by subject because we have created here already model suppose i click here so it's an automatic logout this is an i can't click here okay so you can go to here assign class teacher because we have already created this is the table so this is the table you can see class id 3 okay so we can go to class subject so here you can go so class id here is showing the like a 3 the 3 class id inside what is the total subject you can find out 7 subject in 7 4 6 1 2 5 so total is a 5 subject you can find out for this class so let's make a query and get the data using the database what are we okay now just go to controllers and here you can write a query like uh, just do like this get my class subjects and here we need authentication id because whatever you can log in this is the id we need to pass here so we know which teacher again we need to get the data okay and here i create like a dollar get records physical so this is the data inside get record we are passing inside my class subject so let's back again for this controller so you can see it here controller and just create here new function state function and here you can pass like a teacher id okay so let's just copy above one like uh, just what we need this is what we need just put here and here you can just get okay and after we can change one by one teachers we don't need this is the only this is the also we don't need we have made like a joint query okay like here is the assigned class teachers inside class table means uh, here you can see it like a class table you see this is the class table dot id inside assigned class teacher inside class id and also we have made is not deleted also we can make another condition here status is equal to because we just need to show active one we don't want to show inactive one so here we are getting only class name and assign class teacher data and also we can get a created dates so let's make a year go to back again and we can make a year for loop so just go to another control listing and copy this one so we can do it quickly okay i put here and i don't want to need any more so just remove it we don't id we need yes we can put id so it's good class name so this is the picture name we have there just remove and created by also there so just you can put so just go back again and copy created by so this is the not created by means created date so just copy and put here okay let's go to back again refresh the page so you can see what do you show I think something error there get record undefined variable get records 
I think okay we are not save this file this is okay let's save this file I'll go back again refresh the page so showing the for each argument must be error because we are not pass here return like let's make a return remove this because we don't need here filtering this is an adjustment everything now you can see it like here class part time part time ss1 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 so let's make a here condition about the teacher id so where because we are getting the all the report so assign class teachers dot teacher id is equal to this is a teacher id okay suppose sometime you can think why we are write of self self means same model class name so suppose you can use like this so also work suppose you can use self so also work let's make a class name so do you know any confusion like a model name i go back then i refresh the page so you can see we have passed only two class here you can go we are logging for these students means these teachers so this teacher is a ss1 and part time okay so we need to show also Okay, part time. What's the total subject there? So we need to show here subject, and also SS one. What's the total subject there? So we need to also here subject. So let's make another joint query inside class subject. So just copy this name, and uh, you can go here. I'll say class name here, class ID, and here you can pass like a class dot ID. So this is the one query we have made. Let's back and refresh the page. So you can see it here like a okay one and a column class subjects. So let's make a go to back. Okay, we need to write here class ID. This results because here you can see it like a class ID. You see, I refresh the page. So SS one inside four subject there and part time inside you can see multiple subject there. I think we can remove this. Hash because we don't need hash. Otherwise, sometimes confusion. So let's um, we don't need now because this is the showing the assign class ID. So we don't want to show here. Okay. Now we need to show here subject name. So let's back again and we need to make another join query here. Uh, where I can go? Yes, we can make here another join query like subject model means a subject table subjects. Subject, uh, where is the subject? The ID is equal to class subject inside subject. ID. Okay, now we need to get the data about the subject. So here, just into the subject dot name as a subject name. Why? Because here is a weird type is equal to name, and also we can copy like type about the subject. So just we can make like a Subject type. So also you know this is the practical and this is the like the theory. Okay, let's back again. Refresh the page so you can see no any error. So just show the subject name here. Let's go back again list and you can type here subject name. So let's copy and put here. Sorry about that. The second time, uh, here you can also make subject tag. So just change to subject tag because we already use a alias. You can see it like here. Class dot name as a class name. Teacher dot name as a teach subject name. And uh, subject dot tag is to subject tag because we have used a alias. This is when we are using the alias name. And here you can type also subject name and then your subject tag. Let's back again and refresh the page so we can check here. Like subject name, subject type showing. Yeah, showing proper way. So this is the subject like class. This part time class inside this teacher need to explain for this subject and also this is the class inside he need to explain for this subject. And here showing the subject type theory and practical. Who is a practical? Who is a theory? So in this video I will show you my class and subject step by step. Which is a class name? How to show subject name? How to show and subject type? How to show using the query wise? And we have merged here like a three table. One is a class table, one is a class subject, another is a subject model. So we need to also make some other query like here, like subject 
dot is divided is equal to zero, and get is equal to zero, and is divided is equal to zero because we only to remove. Also inside class subject, inside we need to make clear. So he is already active or not active. Just you can put here. Okay. Now we have made all the data's query here. Is divided here and here. Also make a here. So for condition about the active and active and he is not deleted. Okay. We have made like six query here. Very very just go back and refresh the page so you can see same is because we have not made any inactive okay now i think this is good so teacher side showing you my class and my subject and the next video i will show you my student so you can see it at ss1 what's the total student because we have provide like a two classes so this is the class as inside what's the subject and after what is this class inside what's the subject you need to means this is the class inside what's the total student then this student inside we need to show which class inside this student then or what also we need to show subject so next video i will do here my subject and i will explain better way i hope do you want to like this video so please like and do you want to see this see this like this video so please subscribe our channel and thank you for watching